So I uh, received my order back from PSA. And if you recall from my last video, I sent three cards off. Uh, two to be graded, one to be reholdered. So first up is the 64 Tops Mickey Mantle. And I had put I wanted a minimum grade of a six. And the good news is I got the six. I wish I had gotten higher, but I'm totally happy with this. Um, just it was the only mantle card in my display case that was not uh, PSA graded. So uh, I'll take it. I mean, honestly, a six is probably worth what I paid for this card like over 10 years ago raw, like 240 or 250. I don't know. But now it's going to match all the other ones. I don't have to leave it in a screw down. And... Um, so good news there, I guess. Now, my Jeter, 90, 93 SP Jeter rookie, unfortunately got the dreaded uh, N6 minimum size requirement qualifier, so they would not hold her this card, and I'm really pissed. I, I get it. Um, you know, a lot of these Jeter cards were cut wrong from the factory, and as a result are a little shorter than what PSA determines as the proper card size. And... They won't grade it, because who's to say I didn't have the original card and I trimmed it myself, right? I get it. It just sucks that uh, mine didn't get into a holder. And that's probably why you see a lot of these raw cards on eBay with people saying, hey, PSA 9, PSA 10, because they probably sent them in already and they came back like this. Otherwise, why are they not sending them into PSA themselves? So this was a, a disappointment for sure. And now I'm going to have to just buy one already graded and then just have this raw one i suppose now the last card was my 1980 tops uh larry bird dr j uh, and magic johnson big card and i had it in a psa 8 well guess what it was a fucking scam job uh i sent it in and i got a call from psa and they told me that it was nothing better than a four that the holder had been compromised and that it was not an eight. Somebody switched the card out. So I was really disappointed, as anybody would be. I paid $474 for the card, so I had bought it prior to the big uptick in prices over the summer. The good news is I got all my money back. Now, I figured much, pretty much accepted the fact that I was going to get screwed on this whole deal, but I contacted PSA, and they recommended I talk to PayPal, I talked to eBay, even though I was well past the uh, grace period for returning things for credit. And I did that the first go around, and I had zero luck. And so I actually considered getting the card back in a four grade and just be done with it and eat the eat the three hundred dollar price differential between the PSA four and the PSA eight, I guess at the time anyway that I bought it. Uh, well, at the insistence of PSA, I I, sub, I called uh, PayPal again, and although they said they couldn't help me like just immediately get a charge back, they would reach out to the seller and see what they could do. And the next morning, I got a message in my eBay inbox with a seller saying he'll refund my money so I was lucky I guess um, because I had pretty much written it off and I'm really disappointed in the whole experience in general I'm kind of afraid to go back to uh, my other graded cards and, and, and all I did was I just kind of like put my thumbnail and everything just kind of popped open really easily and talking to the PSA rep, he says, yeah, disregard the frosting. You know, the frosting could be uh, part of the process where uh, it was uh, too much pressure was applied to that part of the holder. He said, when you get a PSA card, and the best thing to do is to do just that. Run your thumbnail along the edge, and if it has any movement whatsoever, then there's something wrong with it because it should not do that. Now, these are newer holders. I don't know if they have the ability to do this. I don't think they do. Um, so anyway, uh, it, it sucks that I don't have a PSA 8. Jordan, uh, Magic Johnson bird rookie anymore. I returned the card to the seller today, uh, raw, and with a note from PSA along with it that explained that this card was never an eight and somebody had switched it out and it's fraudulent. Um, but anyway, that's my experience here with the PSA, my first time back into the PSA grading and submission process. Um, so happy about the mantle. Wish it graded higher, of course, but I'll take the six disappointed with this and uh happy at the same time disappointed about my bird rookie because i want one uh and now they're way more expensive than they were when i bought that um but at least i got my money back and uh that's that so uh <laughs> a psa uh submission update and i've been real lazy uh, as of late as you can tell by the lack of videos but this was definitely worth worth posting today. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will uh, talk to you later.